Actually goes to surprise of the LG. That's a very smart move. Bodzo going straight for the LG. And yeah, they will pick up another fuck here. But excellent LG from Bodzo. At least 50% there. Very nice. Going to drop Cooler down at 131. If Bodzo can pick up a yellow before the next Mega, could be in a good position. The yellow is just above him. Cooler, however, they're all ready to pick it up. Bodzo doesn't have that Mega time. And uh, just such a shame for Bodzo there. Did such a good job with that LG. Yeah, you know, Cooler, you know, just, he's just running everything right now. He's going to go from Mega straight to Red. Bob's is actually going to steal away a Red. Who Cooler with, uh... Oh, Cooler just waiting down below. He's certainly going to pick up a frag here. Bob's actually with some nice rockets, but Cooler finally is able to pick up that frag uh, and go for that yellow. Uh, Bodzo will be able to pick up uh, that side yellow and LG, but Kur hits one rocket, knows exactly where Bazo is. Bazo able to do a lot of LG damage, might pick up the frag here, but um, his LG accuracy actually uh, went away at the very end. That allowed Kur to pick up that red, takes a rocket to the face. Uh, Mega is spawned, but it doesn't look like Bazo will have enough time to get it. Does a lot of damage there. Uh, so uh, I don't think he'll have enough time to go over towards that yellow. Kur going to cut him off. Uh, and take y'all. So Kuro in the weeds, six to one, almost halfway through this game. Uh, Still possible to come back, but it can be yeah. very difficult on this map, as we always say. Uh, one of the more harder maps um, to come back on. Uh, this and CTN probably the hardest maps to come back on, while a map like Arrowwalk is extremely easy. Yeah, I think with Cooler's stack, the only way Matrox really going to get, I mean, sorry, Matrox, Bodzo is only really going to get back into this if he catches a lucky rocket as Cooler goes for a red, drops in the lava, because Cooler's stack is just so immense right now, and it's going to take lava and whatever else he can take for uh, Bodzo to pick up a frag. We have Mega and Red in 15 seconds, and with a 6-1 lead, that actually benefits Cooler, if he, even if he was only to get one of them. But uh, if he holds middle map and just takes that frag like that, he should actually be able to get both of them. Assuming he, he's going to be somewhere near, which he isn't. But is going to be able to take that red. Maybe even get the mega here. No, he's not going to go for it. Smart decision. No. Well, you know, Bodzo has the armor he needs. So switch over towards Bodzo. Um, and see what he could do. Uh, the one down here and he didn't make a comeback. Ooh, gets caught out in the area without any weapon out. That's going to take away his entire stack. Oh, and a rocket to the face. So Cooler, pretty much, I think, now that, that that's, sort of, that's another example. The game's over now. Yeah, I mean, Cooler just knew Bozo needed that rocket launcher. And I was just ready to uh, bait him onto it. Go take the free frag. Bozo only with an LG back. I know, look, he's going to pick up two frags. Oh, almost a, a second conversion. Didn't quite get it. Ah, yes. Yeah, so this one's definitely over. Um... My, I was just saying that that's another example of that, you know, just a frag happening that pretty much kills your brain. Bazo, you know, took enough time to run around, get the yellows, get 160 armor stack, goes into mid, doesn't have LG out, gets pushed down on the lava, and then gets a rocket to the face and dies. Um, and so that is, now that Cooler has won at least one map, that is going to guarantee Cooler the top spot. Um, in the group. And it also so knocks Bodzo cool. out, doesn't it? Yes, this will automatically knock Bodzo out. Um, even if Bodzo wins the next two maps, he cannot advance because Kilson beat Bodzo 2 0. So, uh, Kur automatically will be first, and Kilson will be second in the group. Um, and so, Bodzo is basically just playing for pride the next two maps to see if he can take down Cooler in a best of three, uh, while Dehang and Matrox are playing on the ESL stream. Winner of that moves on to the next round. Dehang has won the first map, 17 to negative one. And map two is, let's see what they're playing, is uh, DM13. It is a tie game right now. Um, Four to uh, actually to hang this picked up a frag, so he's winning four to three. Mm. Interesting fact of this game, uh, Budzo actually has high stats on everything. Whether that's because Cooler's spamming a lot more, I'm not entirely sure. It would be good if it added 
sort of weapons fired and uh, weapon hit it would help uh, such a statistic but yeah as this one ends up I'll give you a quick tip if you are a new Quake player you'll see these players doing a lot of rocket jumps on a map like this it can help you can confuse your opponent surprise your opponent and you also see quite a few times over at that red armor people fake rocket jumping because if you see where Bodzo just dropped down now you can fake rocket jump up there your opponent will go through the teleport and then uh, you can go ahead and drop down and get out of there so use that rocket to your advantage a lot more than just shooting people Bodzo picks up a second frag Maybe to give him a little bit of confidence moving into this next map. I don't think I don't think Bodzo should be disappointed with his performance at all. Even as he's inevitably going out, I think he's done quite a good job. Driving his game, both players aim pretty poorly. But, and Bodzo, and Bodzo did manage to win, so at the end of the day, it's a win over Draven. It's quite impressive for him. And uh, he's actually shown quite good aim against Cooler here, so certainly has a bit of potential to do well if he keeps attending these tournaments. Uh, I must say, the it seems like in the Eastern European part of the world, I'm including Poland here, even though that's a little, little more west. Uh, they all have great rockets. Um, I don't know. I don't know why that is. Really? Yeah, they also seem to be good at dodging as well. What a jump by Bodzo! Yeah, that was pretty sick. I haven't I've never seen that before. Did he get pushed up? He must have got pushed up. I don't think. I don't do. think so. Uh, final now. score is 12 to 3.